Welcome to the Lyons Community Farm Project Series. Thanks to our wonderful town of Lyons and our amazing teachers, Amy, Marissa, and Nick, we're designing and building a food forest for Lyons. We're so excited to be learning about permaculture and we've been taking a design course through Drylands Agroecology Research. And we can't wait to share some of what we've been learning with you. You know, a lot of times we even uh, don't think about the native bees. You know, but there's 15,000 species of native bees worldwide. Honeybees, which are close to my heart, my first love, only make up about 2 to 3 percent of that world population. There's 946 species of individual bees in Colorado. And these bees have been evolving to pollinate all of our local flowers. So think about all the plants and animals that depend on that. The bears depend on berries, squirrels depend on nuts. Just think about how many creatures depend on the bees pollinating. You know, are our cells one third in every bite we eat? We can thank for the bees, 70% of our produce, even our beef, the bees pollinate alfalfa. So we owe a lot to the bees. So we also want to create habitat for our pollinators. This leaf cutter bee, born in the spring, now it has to get out, has to find a partner, has to find pollen, nectar, and a piece of leaf, and a nursery, right? So she collects this piece of leaf, wraps the baby around it with a nice little bread basket of pollen for when they wake up and start the next generation the next spring. But where do they live? Well, a lot of times they live in hollow stalks or yard debris. So they'll chew through like a sunflower stem goes hollow after it dries out. They'll chew through there and place their baby in there. So be very careful when you're cleaning up your yard in the fall. Maybe leave some of your debris um, for the bees and also the butterflies will get in there, your pine cones or your um, leaves to place their babies or even hibernate. So wait until the spring's warmed up. You can still have a beautiful yard. And I encourage you all to help. You know, just plant one flower, you feed a bee, you're a beekeeper, you're a conservationist. You're all beekeepers now. Save the bees. Yay.